Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Yep, back inside Golden Gate Park to honor a day that happened 18 years ago. New York, everybody remembers. But unlike other cities, San Francisco doesn't really have a memorial for 9 11. But here inside Golden Gate Park, they have something called the Heroes Grove. So today we'll talk about 9 11 and pay honor to the Heroes Grove that's just on the other side of here. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs, inside Golden Gate Park. Remembering 9-11, the heroes, everyone who passed away 18 years ago today, the United States went through a horrific, horrific incident caused by some insane Taliban but today, like I said in my opening, it's not a lot of memorials here in San Francisco. There is a memorial up in Napa, and I wasn't going to go make it all the way up there today. But we're going to talk about the Heroes Grove here inside Golden Gate Park. And remember, the people that we lost during 9-11. So let's go check this out. Let's go. Let's go. Before I forget, this is Vlog 700, and it fell on a day that I want to... Remember the lost ones of September 11th, 2001. And just on the other side of, of the park over there, there's this little path right here. And there's a memorial that I did once before. It talks about the men and women of World War I. And it's the closest... Heroes Monument we have when it comes to 9-11. So again, today we're just gonna visit the memorial and discuss 9-11. Right there, sitting all by itself. Right in the opening. They have a little monument, a memorial of the victims, not the victims, the heroes during war. I did this vlog before, talked about it, erected back in 1932. You have the names on one side and as I go around the rock More names again of the men's uh, men and women that we lost right here, and it goes around again as well to this side right here. Something new that they added right here, and they added four rocks with new inscriptions right here. Lest we forget San Francisco, November 11th, 2018. So this was just commended last year. In about two months, this is when these rocks, two months, these rocks were placed. Two months from now, a year ago. This one right here kind of hits to the whole 9-11 theme, but this is talking about Germany, most likely during World War, Normandy, never again. And it kind of fits in with the 9-11 theme because never again shall we go through that incident that happened in New York. Never again should this happen to us. This one's a remembrance to the mate Schiff. 
very, very deep. Now, before I get some of you guys who are saying like, hey, this has nothing to do with 9-11. This is not 9-11. This is a World War II memorial. Again, I said in the beginning, there's not a lot of memorial here that commemorates or remembers 9-11 other than up in Napa. It's about an hour, hour and a half drive away from me, but San Francisco doesn't have anything for 9-11. So I just wanted to come out here to this Heroes Grove to talk about the heroes that we lost during 9-11. And uh, the heroes, the loved ones, everyone who, you know, went through post-traumatic, post-9-11, even the ones who died because of lung cancer because of 9-11. That's what we want to talk that's what i want to talk about today and i am using this as just a remembrance to honor the men and women of course of the war but also to honor the men and women who died during 9 11. so let's just get that out of the way before you guys start you know saying this has nothing to do with 9 11. i know that but this is the closest thing i can find as a memorial to honor the men and women of 9 11. so i'm definitely not trying to steal the thunder from the men and women who lost their lives during this war to talk about 9-11 but no 9-11 was a horrific time for all of us if you guys can sit back and remember what you were doing during 9-11 you know it's a it's a scary thought it's a scary feeling i remember i was waking up in bed and local radio station said you know, alarm went off and the local radio station said if you're not awake yet wake up now because we're under attack we are under attack and this is the kind of local radio station that you don't take serious because you always think they're messing around or they're joking around so I hit the snooze button because that's what I thought was going on but then as I hit the snooze button and 15 minutes later I hear at exactly forgot what time it was 8.46, 8.46, it says, Flight 11 crashed into the North Tower of the One World Trade Center between floors 93 and 99. When that happened, when I heard that, I immediately turned, into my TV, turned on my TV the first thing I heard or saw on the TV was at 8.50, Flight 77 was hijacked. And then at 9 o'clock, 9, 6 minutes later, Flight 175 crashes into the south tower of the Two World Trade Center between floor 75 and 85. And then Flight 77 that was just hijacked crashes into the western side of the Pentagon. 959, the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. 1043, sorry, at 1003 Flight 93 that had a lot of Bay Area ties. San Francisco Bay Area ties. They stormed the cockpit and crashed Southwest of Pittsburgh, Somerset County, Pennsylvania. When they found out that the hijackers were doing what they did. Those are heroes. Those are heroes who did that. Now, if you go over to New York and, and go to the sites of the World Trade Center, they do have names, a lot of names of the victims. You know, we pay tribute to the firefighters the victims who lost their lives, the people who put their lives at stake to help victims. And it can go from anyone from a policeman, a meter maid, a person who owns the deli right down below from the World Trade Center. All of those guys are heroes. All of these people who put their lives to save other lives are heroes. And today marks 18 years and I still remember that day I still remember the plane running into the World Trade Center I still can vividly see that in my head and yes it was not not a not a good thing at all
Now sit back and think about what you were doing 18 years ago. 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time in the morning. What were you doing? What were you doing when you heard the news of the flights being hijacked? What was your reaction when you saw the planes hit the tower? What's the first thing that went through your head? Us living in San Francisco that day, everything, everything stopped. Everything. I was working at a health club at that time, and when I went in there, everything was closed. The city was closed. Everything, it was pretty much, everybody was in fear that what these terrorists did was going to affect the West Coast. And it happened in New York. And we here in San Francisco, we were all affected. Not just San Francisco, but the whole United States, the nation, America, even as far as France, they were affected as well because they knew, they knew that we, we were suffering, even though not a lot of us knew people that was there, but we were suffering. We had this whole incident that happened that happened live for a lot of us on TV that we saw live. So for something like that, that is heartfelt. And today we just remember the men and women, the children, the first responders, the people that we lost on 9-11. And I'm using the Heroes Grove as a platform to just talk about the heroes that day. Not taking away from these men and women that's stamped on this rock. I'm not taking away from them. They deserve their own. And I will be back here. And it looks like November 11th is when a lot of this was stamped of 2018. And this was placed on 2000, 1932 of November 13th. So that's when most likely I will be back here to discuss this whole thing again. To talk about this rock. To give these men and women their honor. To give these men and women their due justice. So that's when I'll come back to talk about the men and women who lost their lives during the war. But for today, like I said, I just wanted to use this Memorial Grove as a stepping stool, a stone, to just talk about the men and women that we lost during September 11th, 2001, and to honor their memories as they look down upon us up there. And like this rock says right here, never again, never again will we let that happen. Never again will we let anything like that happen. And you could also change the again to forget. Because we will never forget that day of September 11th, 2001. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Again, a nice remembrance of September 11th. 2001 and again I'm just using the Heroes Grove Memorial to just reflect on the heroes the everyone who passed away everyone who gave their lives that day to save many others and unfortunately the ones who did try to save their lives first responders a lot of them ended up you know losing their lives trying to save others and at the same time there was a lot of first responders who survived the ordeal but later on having to live with lung cancer because of the fumes and the dust that was inhaled from the buildings that collapsed so you have a lot of those people who definitely definitely did justice with their life did justice with what they did with 9-11 but I just wanted to use this today as a day to remember and honor the men and women of 9-11 so on this day, we remember them. We will never forget. We'll never forget what they did. We'll never forget what 
they've done for the country and for the ones who are still alive right now we will never forget what they're still doing for our country so that's how it is 18 years ago today America's life has changed thumbs up like comment and subscribe yes this is vlog number 700 didn't really think vlog 700 would be used on a day like September 11th but I decided I'm gonna use vlog 700 and we're gonna talk about 9 11 700 was it's a good it's a good it's a good thing for me I done 700 vlogs and I an accomplishment an accomplishment but again I'm using this 700 vlog to talk about September 11th so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe leave me comments down below and thanks for watching here from the Heroes Grove Memorial vlogs ended thanks for watching go in peace and what would a 700 vlog be without my buddy, my good friend, Sean Garnett. Thanks, Sean Garnett. Thank you. How's it? I'm Sean Garnett, cousin Flip on Hawaii Five O, and uh, you're watching the 700th vlog from Eric from San Fran. Hope you enjoy the vlog, and here's to another 700 more, Eric. Take care, brother. Aloha. On this 700 vlog, we honor the men and women that we lost during September 11th, 2001.